The function below models the number V in thousands of violent crimes committed in the United States T years after 1995, based on data from the Federal Bureau of Investigation. So T equal to 0 represents 1995, T equal to 1 represents 1996, and so on. So here's our function, V of t equals 5.0t squared minus 87.3t plus 1761.1. Part A, we want to determine the year in which the fewest violent crimes were committed. So what should jump out at us here is fewest. So fewest sounds like minimum, it suggests minimum. So we know that this function, it's quadratic, it's degree 2, the t squared, so we know that it means it's going to be parabolic, it's going to be a parabola shape. And since the coefficient of the squared term is positive, we know that it's going to be a parabola opening up. So this is a parabola opening up. So that tells us that the vertex corresponds to the min, to the minimum value of the function. Okay, so we want to identify in our function here our a, b, and c. So if we remember our general form of a quadratic function, f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c. In this case, we've got v of t, so we get the t instead of the x and then the v instead of the f. So we want to find the year, so that year means we want to find the t value so we want to find the t value that's associated with that minimum, with that vertex of the parabola. So we're going to find negative b over 2a. So in this case, our a value is 5.0, and our b value is negative 87.3. So we'll fill in. We want the opposite of negative 87.3 over 2 times 5. So we can enter that into the calculator, or mental math. You know how I like mental math. So we know that the opposite of a negative is a positive. We know 2 times 5 is 10. And if we divide 87.3 by 10, if we divide by 10, that's the same as moving the decimal point one unit left. So that's going to give us 8.73. So that means that 8.73 is the t value that corresponds to the vertex, the minimum of that parabola. So this is years, and remember this is years past uh, 1995. So you can round this, it just depends on the problem as far as rounding, so just pay attention to the directions in the problem. But if we take 1995 and we add 8.73, so that would give us 2000 3.73, so I'm just going to round this to 2004. But again, please pay attention in the problem how they want you to round. So that means in 2004, the fewest violent crimes were committed. Okay, part B. Now they actually want to know the number of violent crimes that were committed that year. So part A wanted the T value. Now we want the V of T value. So we want the number of violent crimes in the year 2004. So we now want to find V of 8.73. So we'll plug in 5.0 times 8.73 squared minus 87.3 times 8.73 plus 1761.1. Okay, so there's lots of decimals here, so I'm okay if we don't do mental math here. So if we enter this into the calculator, we're going to get approximately 1,380. Now remember, pay attention in the problem up here, V actually represents thousands, so it's not 1,380 violent crimes, unfortunately. It's actually 1,380,000. ,000. So if we add three zeros for that thousand, that'll give us 1,380,000. Violent crimes. Okay, so now if we look on our calculator, we can check this, verify, and visualize this. 
So here if we enter our function 5x squared minus 87.3x plus 1761.1, now, as far as my viewing window, in this case, my x value, my t value, is time. It's years past 1995. So, so we're going to start with the uh, x value of 0. And typically, remember, in word problems, real-life applications, frequently, the quantities are positive. So I'm going to start with an x value of 0 and go up to a maximum of 20. And this is just a ballpark. I'm just estimating this here. We can always adjust our window, smaller or larger. And then my y value in this case is numbers of violent crimes. And since they're suggesting thousands for us, I'm going to go up to about 2,000. And then because I increased my window into the thousands, I increased my scale here. Instead of our, the default of 1, I increased it to 10. But again, this is just one example of a window that will get us a good idea of the shape of this. And we know what shape to expect anyway. We know we expect a parabola opening up. And here we can see it. And now we expect that the vertex is going to be approximately 8.73, comma, 1,380. So we can calculate it. So second trace to calculate the minimum. So we want a left boundary so we can scroll a little bit to the left of where we, that, that vertex appears. Hit enter. And then we want to scroll a little bit to the right of where that vertex appears and hit enter and then we hit enter one more time and we can see we do get approximately 8.73 1380 so let's just make a little sketch in our notes here so we have this to take away from us so we've got this wide parabola just get the general shape and we just calculated, we verified on the calculator, and we have our algebra to support our vertex here. So our vertex is approximately 8.73, comma, 1,380. And if you guys want to note in your notes here, um, the window, the viewing window that you used, if you want to check this on your calculator at another point, just remember I'm going to do x min, x max, x scale, and then like dimensions, like width and length, horizontal and vertical axes, and then my y min, my y max, and my y scale.